Two months ago this week, an early morning fire destroyed a popular restaurant on the causeway, leaving dozens of employees out of work. Well, today, WKRG News 5's Blake Brown is giving you a look at the initial demo inside Ed's Seafood Shed as the owner plans a big comeback. Sunday, September 19th, is a morning Pete Bloom won't forget. The whole back of the restaurant caught fire really bad. We had some electrical issues and it swept through the restaurant. That fire completely gutting Ed's seafood shed on the causeway, shutting down a business that at the time was thriving. I've never had a restaurant in my life where people walk in and go, Can we get a table for 35? And they do that here. It's been that kind of venue where people come to celebrate. Over the last couple of weeks, crews have cleared the inside of the restaurant, giving Bloom time to envision what's next. Basically, we're taking this whole eastern, western, and southern view and just encapsulating that with windows and seating. It's going to be great. And the whole north side, we're going to, you know, reserve that for kitchen, bathrooms, management prep. He's expanding the inside dining area, too, with plans to close in a portion of the existing deck. They've lost a lot of revenue in the last two months. They're ready to get this parking lot full again, hoping to reopen next year. The restaurant owner says he lost nearly half of his employees after the fire. Some are working in his other restaurants, while others found work elsewhere. The last couple of months haven't been easy. The insurance companies move so slow. Um, I, I can't say anything bad, but I can't say anything good yet about them. The next step is to finish drawing out the plans on paper, then have those plans approved. It may be a long process, but he has no plans of slowing down. In Spanish Ford, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.